So we just finished finding father at the dead center of the femur, which is the largest bone in the human body. It's the top of your leg, uh, colloquially known as your thigh bone. Okay. The femur. 29 dead center, 29 flanking. Okay, so... Oh man, this is too perfect. You're going to love me forever. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Watch this. So, here are all instances. This is my code here. Okay. So here are all instances of 58 father in these letters, the femur. Here's all of them. All four ways that you can find 58. Well, this is what we filter. In green is the symmetrical ones. So there's father at the dead center of the femur. And what do you see? Six letters perfectly, just like father. I see three plus twos, and one plus one, and two letters that divide by three, just like father. Perfect. Now this gets even crazier. Because down here, we search for half a father. And lo and behold, we get half a father at the dead, the tighter center, flanked in the HU, which is another 29. So there's your screaming glory. Um, you also get this famous half father, the ERF, which exists in father. Okay. Um, and what's left over is TR, which equals 38, which equals other titles of God, like um, fire, alpha, um, Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. And then, uh, but then what is also amazing is when you pluralize that, then you get um, the three letters R, R, S, T. Okay, three letters that go up in the alphabet and therefore make a multiple of three. So all highlighting stardom is clearly on Father. Okay, so this starts with a T. It ends with an R. And then if you pluralize it, because you have two femurs in your body, now you have a bonus T, R, S. Well, that's three letters that go up. In, in order, R, S, T, okay? One that divides by three, one plus one, one plus two. So it all divides by three. So that all, okay, puts shining stardom on father, okay? The femurs, father, father plus 57, okay? Um, there you go. So I'm, a, so, and the femur is the largest bone in the human body. Now, as a personal gem, God gave me particularly large femurs. I am very tall. I am basically six foot six, just under, just shy of six foot six, basically. Depends on whether you measure me early in the first thing when I get up or later in the day. Um, but I also have particularly long legs, okay? And so I have very large femur bones, okay? So, just in the sovereignty of God, I am the first human in history to find father at the center of the femur, and I happen to have very large femur bones. And my name, Derek, mathematically parallels father, just like the word pioneer. Um, and um, just checking the word. Oh, yeah, scientist parallels father. It ends in son. And then the front, genius, because science equals father. That's a cool one. But, um, uh, yeah, scientist does, in fact, parallel father perfectly. Um, but, um, man. Now I'm like doing math on all these words. Discoverer um, also parallels father, okay? Um, as does the word researcher, okay? And uh, so I am all of those things in this moment. I am a researcher, I am a discoverer, I am a pioneer, and I am a scientist. All of those terms parallel father. My name is Derek, parallels father. Okay, I love preaching on all these details. I am also a student, which parallels father. Um, uh, student is beautiful, it's got ascent in order. But so back to the femur. And I want to share a personal gem with you, which will blow your mind. Frigimatra, the Lord said to me one day while I was lying um, in the park in the sun, enjoying some sun, and in particular, I was, um, you know, I was getting sun on my whole body. And so I was, you know, lying on the grass. It's a nice private park. And, uh, and so I had, you know, the majority of my legs exposed to the sun so that I could get some much needed sun. Um, on them. And the Lord said to me at that time, nice legs. And nice legs equals Jesus. And the best part is you can build every single one of the letters J-E-S-U-S -S, mathematically from the letters nice legs. And I did that in previous video weeks ago, but I just wanted to share that video with you personally on camera right now uh, for your inspiration that God says that to every single human being on planet earth. Nice legs equals Jesus. Okay. I just read in this book earlier 
straight out of the book. Nice job in, in the section on uh, the ulna and the radius. Beautiful page. Nice job equals father. And you can say that to anyone every, everywhere you go. Nice job equals father. And the reason we say good job, okay, is because the book ends equals 23 I am, and then it's pure O's filling in. God's great title I am and good job 23. Okay, so there's some bonus gems for you. But the femur, the largest bone in the body, has father at the dead center. And then you say the femur, so you have an R, S, T on top, three letters that go up one at a time, multiple of three, stardom continues to be on father. Okay. So, that's worth writing down. We've spoken it. The femur um, puts father at center. <clears throat> so the femur puts father at dead center composed of the, do, the two half-fathers, 29, 29. And this is going to blow your mind even more. I'm going to take you even higher for the glory of Father on these two half-fathers at the dead center of the femur. Watch this. So at the very dead center, the four letters, E-F-E-M, those equal the half-father in Father, which is E-R-F. Okay. When you split Father into the two half-fathers, there is only one way. The ATH is 1, 29, and the ERF is the other 29. Well, that's exactly what I see here. EFEM at the center of the femur. You have the E and the F, and then an E plus M equals R. And there is wisdom in that. That is the very, I've been preaching that R's equal me from the beginning. Okay? Because God ends every sentence with the word me, because he says it's all about me. Okay? And he ends practically every title that belongs to him with the letter R. To declare his his great name me for example god is the lover he is the maker he is the father he is the creator he is the um, redeemer he is the savior he is the welcomer he is the greeter he is the befriender he is the helper he is the provider all of those titles end in r which equals 18 which equals me because god says all of these things he says i am the lord there is none besides me worship me call upon me Pray to me. It's all about me. Think about me. The universe belongs to me. You belong to me. It's like, I love me. God says that about himself. Okay. So, when we look at the femur, and we see that E-F-E-M, okay, there's, there's the, that equals the E-F-R in father, and the M-E equals the R. Done. So, the E-F-E-M at the center of femur equals the E-R-F in father. Okay, the half father. Now look at the H U flanking that. Okay. E F E M. That equals the half father. Okay. Right here. F E R. And we just walk through that. Okay. F E equals F E. And E M for the R equals the great title of God, me. Okay, remember? He says it's all about me. Me is the last word, you know, in, in any sentence that God declares, because it's all about me, he says. And so that 18 is the last letter in Father. But now look at Team Gold. Well, it's just as glaring, if not, like it's just as beautiful. The U is 21. Well, the very definition of the number of tw 21 is right there. 20 plus 1 is 21. And then H equals H. There you go. So there is the glaring pair of half-fathers at the dead center of the femur, which perfectly match father. So give glory to God. The femur is the largest bone in the human body, and at this exact date and time in history, it has been seen and solved on the lips of men for the glory of God the Father. By the way, okay, my name is Derek Leonard Reinhardt Kubi, Derek Parallel's father. Leonard equals Jehovah, Reinhardt equals Christ, equals I am love, forwards and backwards. And Derek Kubi, my first and last name, equals the Lord. I'm saying that for the glory of God, okay? And your name is special too, okay? And you need to ask God, okay, for all the details on the glory of your name, for his glory, okay? Um, so, the femur puts father at the center. Now you just want to solve them all. Just stick the word the in front. So let's try the humerus, the largest bone in the the uh, the, the arms. Let's let's give it a crack. Now, 
okay, wait a second. The femur, we already saw the glory there. Now, as I think of the humerus, I, it's, it shares a lot of letters with the femur. So it would behoove us to, to take those hints with us, okay, when we stare at the humerus. Um, no F to work with. The HU is glaring because there's two HUs. Aha. Two half a fathers. Aha. We know how good HU is. So we already have two HUs in the humerus. So that's two half fathers which make a father. We know that it ends in RUS which is father. What else will we see? Um, okay, let's throw it in the computer, but there's there's a well, I just want to do a little manual peek here. The HU in the same slots is irresistible. Second letter in, second letter back. There's your half father. Ooh, the UM at the center of the humerus is extremely irresistible because that is the dead center of father, glaringly. And then 24 points completes the puzzle, so you can take the SE. There's a lot of ways to see father screaming out of the humerus. It's half a father at the front, full father at the back, center of the humerus, center of father. Um, just do a little manual analysis here. Um, Okay, let's let's throw it in the computer here. That is huge. The father is at the dead center of the femur and the zygomatic bones and the bregma and the occipital bone and the vertebral column. You're just like and uh, so we gotta okay, so the humerus, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, the HUs were big, it ends in father. There's nothing symmetrical for 58, but uh, okay. Let's see. Overall, the humerus is um, is uh, double Jehovah, which is very cool. Um, you know what? I would I would. Um, I would definitely talk about the Russ equals the father. Okay, there's there's lots to be learned and lots to be solved, but we are just starting with the obvious here. Um, okay, I'm gonna jump around. I'm gonna let's keep going here. The cosix. I I knew that that equals father plus son. There is a symmetrical father in there. Oh man, see now it comes to light. Half a father is at the dead center of the cosix. H-O-Y. That is smoking hot. So the cosix equals father plus son. And there's several ways you can split it. In fact, there's precisely um, nine ways that you can split the cosix into father plus son. Um, the simplest way that was so glaring was that cosix all by itself contains father minus theo, and then theo we know equals son because theologian equals son father. Okay, in you know six letters. For that was the obvious way, but now there's a perfectly symmetrical way. And this is going to blow your mind. Ready for another mind blow? I just, I'm staring at the cosix, and I see father in six letters, and son, S-O-N, in three letters. In perfect symmetry. Are you ready for this? Here it is. There it is, right there. The cosix. Okay, this is the bottom of your vertebral column. It's called the cosix. Now, there's so much glory in here we could preach for a long time. This famous YX is a very famous way that God makes his title Lord. 
in only two letters, okay? Because the word oxygen is O Lord God in order. Um, and that will really parallel his father. Remember, co six contains a single plus one. All the rest of the letters divide by um, three. That is very special for father. And then the Y equals father. Remember, Y equals all. God the Father is the all in all. So that's a very precious father to the Y. They equals father. And then everything else is pure threes. It's just extremely gorgeous to add to son. Furthermore, this equals 24, half a son. C, O, C, C, pure threes, half a son. And then the X equals the other half a son. So there is so much smoke and glory in this to split it into son and father. But check out the symmetrical way. Six letters, just like father. And then the letters left over, three letters, son. S-O-N, son. Six letters for father in green. Three letters for son. Perfect. Okay, in the co six. Okay, so what are this is this is so cool. So now analyze the letters that go to father. You've got the T and the E, which exist in father. Then this is so gorgeous. Triple C is triple three, which equals nine. Well, the very definition of nine is eight plus one, which is the H and the A in father. So triple C equals H A, and then X equals the bookends of father. Twenty four. Okay. And that's special because father, it's a 6 and an 18, which divide by 6, and x is quadruple 6. Now what's left over? What does the son get? Well, he gets h, o, y. Well, what's so beautiful about that? You've got a plus 1, a plus 2, and a 3. It's, it's son going backwards. The o is in the dead center, just like son. The y is 6 points on top of an s. The h is 6 points less than an n. So flawlessly, you have S-O-N declared in gorgeous offsets going this way in a trifork three letters. So there's son and there's father <laughs> in the co six, which is, um, where is it? Here we are. Okay, it's, it's, it's the bottom part of, um, of, your, of, the, of the vertebral column. I don't, I don't need to flip any more pages, okay? So that is, um, Smoking hot stuff. Okay, so we're we're solving. Clearly, I'm I'm zeroing in on um, on uh, on central anatomy here. Okay, um, critical stuff. Okay, and we're solving everything in the human body for the glory of the Triune God. For those just joining us, um, welcome to the Epic House. Um, we've been waiting for you. Okay, so. Let's see, by the way, artist, okay, equals father plus half a father. He's the one that designed this great body. So, we did the cosix, we did the sacrum, um, we did the vertebral column. Let's, let's get simple with this, let's, let's, the neck. Let's just shove the neck in there. Yeah, there's, there's father in the neck, just pop off eight points. Okay. Um, what else? What else will we uh, take a look at? The chest. Let's see where Father lies. Okay, yeah, you can find it in there. But we want to just get those real... The patella. We know the patella goes to father, the kneecap, but let's see what happens when we say the patella. Oh, just like we... <laughs> it's getting so embarrassing. Remember the glabella? Is it glabella? I believe it's glabella. Or ga... Yeah, glabella. This is so obvious now. And so, this is the glabella which ends in all. Remember, the all equals father. So, the glabella, father. The patella, father. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. It's very clean. Ooh, and then there's a smoking hot thing in um, the patella because now you get, this is smoking hot, now you get half a father, H-E-P, and half a father, E-L-L, -L, in symmetry in the patella. This is your kneecap, okay? And then your bonus points is pure threes. Oh my gosh, you're going to cry. The patella equals lightning. Okay, God has done... 
This is so beautiful. You have Father in the bookends, the all. Remember, he is the all. The all in all is Father plus Son. The all equals Father on the bookends of the patella. At the dead center, you now have 21 plus 21. Just flawless symmetry. Because you have the PE and the AT. 21, 21, 21, 21. Wow, 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 wow. Now, if you're really good, you will recognize that a 33 plus a 21 equals love. So now you have a very easy love delivered to you. Okay, so... And, and that's the same thing that God ordained... Um, in the word lightning, okay? Father is at the dead center of lightning with 21 on the left and 21 on the right. The patella is father on the bookends with 21, 21, okay? You get the idea. The threes are like uh, ligaments that serve, you know, the glory of the father, like central bone, okay? So, um, let's write this down. So, the pat the patella is father plus twenty one twenty one and I always knew this was one of, I testify by God Almighty by God Almighty originally when I started this study I was finding love and I was finding threes and I'll never forget the first time I realized that father the name father it was anatomy if you if someone finds that video months ago might even be a long time ago, months, definitely months ago. I was, I was doing analysis on like tibia and fibula and stating what I was thinking. And then I, I, I realized that patella parallels father. And I believe that may have been the very beginning point when I started searching for this name father and the explosion. And it was just amazing. So, um, so the patella. Now, let's, um, so that was satisfying to see that, the patella. Now, um, let's, uh, oh man, like, it's glaring. Then you get, there's another way of symmetry, take the word heat, center father, and then the two L's. Like, look at this. There's heat, the dead four center letters of father, and then the pair of L's equal the bookends of father. That is like in a perfect hopscotch pattern. And then the rest equals your, your double 21. It's amazing, isn't it? And furthermore, you get the 21, 21 again. Now you have the, the 20 plus 1 right there. And now you have the P and E right there. So this is just as smoking hot of a... This is even more glaring. Here's, here's your father in six letters plus 21, 21 in symmetry. Here was your father in six letters plus 21 plus 21 in symmetry. I'm glad I have a video camera. Because this needs to be preached and shown and talked about with like movement so that people can see it and get the glory on this. Okay. Um, so the patella. It, now, this is so cool. Okay. As if that wasn't hot enough. Now, we know that kneecap parallels father. But let's shove the kneecap into the computer. See what we find. Okay, there's father right at the front of that. Similar glory, and at the end, the end of the word kneecap is also 25 in four letters now. So you get you get the father on bookends with a bonus um, uh, 30 in the middle as opposed to 42. Okay, that's pretty sweet. It's very satisfying. Because again, you get the letters heat which is the center father plus the bonus 24, okay. Um, let's just be thorough and try pluralizing these terms. Yeah, when you pluralize, then you get some beautiful symmetrical fathers. The word sent, always pluralize because you have two kneecaps, okay. And um, so we'll just do that and see the symmetry come alive. And Oh man, it's just smoking. Um, and then let's just quickly do the same thing with the patellas, just quickly now. Okay, yeah, no symmetry on that one, that's fine, okay. Ay, 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 so, um, the 
the rib pate, the sternum. Okay, yeah, that's good stuff. Father, half a father, and then E S R N thirty two twenty four. Yeah, the I am. Okay. Um the manubrium. Oh yeah, the manubrium was glorious. Um because this the manubrium is five twenty nines. This is big because the manubrium is the top piece of the sternum, and we know that the sternum is up front and center in the chest. But the top, and so we always got to solve it's on top because that goes to father. So manubrium equals love father, the greatest commandment. Um, but now when we say the manubrium, the plus love equals truth, which is father plus half a father. So we have five twenty nines perfectly in the manubrium. This is big for the glory of God. This is big for the glory of the Father. Now, the computer has already revealed to me all of the 17 ways to find 29 in those letters. Now, the question is, are there five mutually exclusive ways? I don't know. Um, it won't take long. The word hat is one of them. <laughs> um, I, it's it's pretty hard to get five mutually exclusive 29s um, in the manubrium, I would guess. I want to do one other thing first. I want to quickly just check out the word manubrium and see where the love father... Okay, not symmetrical, but that's fine. Let's just do a little work on the manubrium for those 29s. I'll just be quick about this. A T and an I is 29. An H and a U is 29. Um, uh, an N, now this is where I want to be choosy here. So we we need another eight points. See, now this is where it's going to be difficult. I can easily find three 29s. The U needs eight points. At this point, I'm forced to pick a U, a B, an A, and an E. That takes most of the low-value letters, and so now you're left with M, N, R, M. Uh, which you can't split into the... You can do... It's pretty cool, though. You get the 26 and the 32, 29 plus 3 and 29 minus 3. Good enough. Um, I don't... My suspicion is that you cannot split the manubrium into three... Clean, into five clean 29s. But that's, you know, not that important. Yeah, I'm already seeing that... Uh, I, Pretty sure you cannot, and that's fine. What if we went one more try? B R I H U is irresistible. Ah, now you can't get the T I. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, what else? Okay, let's go back to the. How about the rib cage? Let's find father in the rib cage. Ooh, he's on the end of the rib cage. Um, and then rib equals half a father. That is very important to mention. And so, yeah, the ribs would be like a father. Yeah, a triple half father construct. So, let's go back. You know what? Let's just bump off a few big bones. The clavicle. The clavicle, and maybe the clavicle. Let's just see where father is in there. Just, I'm looking for symmetry. I'm, I'm on the hunt for that centrality business because we've seen that so much. Okay, yeah, there is symmetry there. There's a lot of beauty in the clavicle. Um, the scapula. Okay, we know that they these words both parallel father, but I want to see if he's got that 58 right in there, scapulas. There's a lot of beauty in here, but I'm just being quick about this. Um, let's, um, okay, so the thorax, also known as the chest. What will we find for father in the thorax? Father's on the end, in symmetry. 
There's the all. Pfft, there it is again. There's the all again. Okay. What else? Um, I'm going to be technical here and check out the bony thorax. Orax, the end, the end is irresistible that orax equals father, and then th is the center of father. Okay. So yeah, the thorax is like a father, father double, because yeah, the plus another th is father plus three, and then orax is father. Um, hmm. just quickly, the body. Oh yeah, the famous the y. Yeah. course the body the, the letter the, the letters the body clearly goes to father father plus 21 but there's the the they and what happens when you say the human oh I wanted to check out the skeleton um, let's check out the letters get really high level here the skeleton oh man so there's the word sent in symmetry there's father it ends in half a father, okay. Um, so much to just see. Yeah, the most glaring thing about skeleton for father is the perfectly symmetrical scent, whether you say skeleton or the skeleton. Okay, so that is glaring for father. What's left over? Oh man, two great names of God are left over. So I'm looking at the word skeleton. S-E-T-N, okay, father, in symmetry. And then God's great name, L, E-L, at the center. And then O-K equals God. So you have some great um, titles of God. And that would mean that that's, um, yeah, so it's like a father, father, double. 26 plus uh, 17. Um, let's take a look at human skeleton. Alat forty two. Let's just be one more talk about human skeleton. Okay, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. This is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Whether you say the human skeleton or the skeleton or skeleton. You always get the word sent, which equals father, in four letters. Just like Jesus said, he who sent me, he who sent me, glorified father. The word sent equals father. So whether you say the human skeleton, or you say the skeleton, or you say skeleton all by itself, you always get the four letters S-E-N-T, which equals father perfectly. That's cool. That is extremely noteworthy. Okay, take your pick. The human skeleton, the skeleton, or skeleton. You always get S-E-N-T in symmetry for father. And to me, it's glaring because... Let's try that one more time. Is it always the... Um, solving big words like, you know, human anatomy. We're just checking that out quickly. Oh yeah, human, oh yeah, anatomy. That starts with father. Oh man, so human human anatomy, the first six letters equals father, and then the rest is father plus 30. And you can easily get that father plus 30 end of there. Okay, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Okay, let's... <laughs> This is pretty incredible. Uh, so clavicle, manubrium, body, the xiphoid 
process. So I guess I can look at um, the xiphoid process and just a couple other famous words. It's also the pelvic girdle. You see what father might be there. Um, that's cool. Father's on the end of pelvic girdle and very near the center. Um, and then let's get to what was I going to do? This is a fun one. The xiphoid process. We'll just see where father might be on that one. There's a number of symmetrical ways, but nothing that is, yeah. There's five symmetrical ways, which is pretty cool. All right, well, we're starting with the simple and climbing our way up. How about just simple words like cartilage? Cartilage. Yeah, father plus 18. Beautiful half fathers. So the cartilage will be great father. And then we talk about costal cartilage. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So costal is father plus 12, cartilage is father plus 18. It's glaring. Crazy. Costal cartilage begins with father. My Lord. Um, let's jump to some famous bones of the foot. Let's just throw down a few famous how about the phalanx? Father's at the front of the phalanx. And there's father in the heel. The calcaneus. This is all preliminary research. Calcaneus. Yes. That's a tougher one to crack. Hmm. Father plus 36, pretty sweet. Oh man. Um, like I know that big toe, I'm almost tempted to go to the bones, big toe equals father. That's a revelation. I would love to just. Man, once you start solving muscles, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy feast. Um, where's the bones of the foot? I don't know if I'm going in the right order here. We, we don't think so. Well, I got some memorized. Ah, here we are. Let's just slam some other ones in. Okay, quickly, the tibia. Let's just get that one in. Yeah, father's in there with the two half fathers. Da -da -da. Ooh, the tibia equals Jesus. And so that would be who checking for the great I am which is easily findable. How about the fibula? And there's father in there. Ooh, the, the fibula is father god with the EU god left over. That's glaring. The fibula is glaring for father because you get the F, the T, the H, and the A and then the E and the R parallel the rest. And you can easily get the two half fathers of that. So the fibula Fascinating finding all this. Um, the talus, let's just quickly jump to that. See what's hiding in there. Half fallen. The tarsals. Oh, yeah. Phalanges. 
Okay, Father gets the last word on phalanges in six letters. Yeah. Phalanges. Wait for it. Oh, man. If you waited this long, you got a huge gem. I kid you not, by God Almighty, the phalanges, as in your finger bones and your toe bones, the phalanges equals father, father, in six letters plus six letters. Oh, baby. If you waited this long, you got a massive massive gem and you can it's the all the all in order okay so the fa is the all remember the is the and then ph is two l's and then a equals a the god the father is the all so when i say the phalanges and notice i'm using my phalanges the phalanges in my fingers to you know do all these numbers the p the pha equals the all, equals father. <laughs> Smoking hot. And then longes equals the same thing, and you can split that into the all. SN equals the, L-A-G-E equals A-L-L. -L, literally A-12-12. So, the all, the all, the phalanges, father, father. Oh yeah! I think we deserve some dark chocolate. Dark chocolate equals father, father. 116. There it is. I'm the first human in history to declare that the phalanges, that is to say, the bones of your fingers. <laughs> Try living without your fingers. We'll see how happy you are. Try living without your toe bones. We'll see how well you can walk. Um, so the phalanges equals father, father, in order. Six letters at the front, father, six letters. Six letters at the back, Father. I'm tempted to say good night, but we got even more to see. This is just the beginning. Um, okay, by the way, night equals Father. He gets the last word whenever you say good night. Um, and then you go asleep, which equals Father. Um, and that's what you call bedtime, which equals Father. And that's when business is closed, which is equals Father. And you exit the building, exit equals Father. Um, okay. And the word children parallels father, and I've talked about that, but we are in anatomy land. Okay, so as I look at this book here, this beautiful book, it says there are 14 phalanges <laughs> in the foot. Well, phalanges, so they are in the foot. Okay, so in the foot, very similar to the... Um, five fingers of the human hand. There are three phalanges for each of these four guys. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there are two phalanges for the big toe. Remember, big toe equals father, just like earlobe, just like helix, the top of your ear. Helix, father, earlobe, father, big toe, father, thumb parallels, father. Um, you will get the importance of those gems. There's a, in the priesthood mentioned in the Bible, it says the priests, um, as a symbol of their sanctification, they had to, uh, had their earlobe, their big thumb, and their big toe, specifically their right ones, okay, dipped in blood, I believe, in order to remind them of the holiness of God. And, and, uh, so here we are, thousands of years later, for the glory of God, preaching the fact that earlobe equals father. Um, thumb is father plus six, parallel is father, and then big toe equals father. But, okay, so in both your, um, I would love to, um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't put the, um, well, let's, this is so cool. So we're going to the uh, hand page. Shouldn't be much further. That's the arm. No, oh, actually, that's fine. We'll just do the feet for now. Well, the word phalanges, of course. Where did that hand page go? So phalanges is father plus father. Here we are, page 33. Um,
Yeah, so in the hand, this is really cool. So in the hand, just like in the, um, the foot, there are um, exactly 14 phalanges. Okay, there's four, there's three on each of these four digits, or whatever they're called, fingers, toes, and then two for the thumb, just like two for the big toe. So what's interesting to me numerically is that 14 is a double of seven. The number seven parallels father. And so the fact that phalanges, the phalanges, equals father, father, perfectly, okay, in six plus six letters, the phalanges, father, father. Well, there's 14 phalanges, that double of seven, which parallels father, okay? So there's another bonus gem for you on the actual number of these things. Um, remember, the number seven parallels father. It's a plus one number, okay? And um, there are 14 phalanges. That's a double of seven. Literally, a father, father, double, if you will. The, word, the name father begins with seven. F plus A, six plus one, is the very definition of, of um, seven. And then everything else divides by three. The is 33 in three letters, and R divides by three in three strokes, okay? Um, as a bonus gem, father is written, you know, in... The, the number of letters divides by three, the number of strokes divides by three, and stuff like that, but uh, the glory of the number seven. Seven goes to Father, okay, um, plus one. And um, so the fact that there are 14 phalanges and then the phalanges is a father-father double, okay, it makes sense to me. Um, wait a second, 56, 56. That's amazing. So when you add up all of your phalanges, there's 14 in each hand and in each foot. 14 plus 14 is a special number. Um, oh yeah, 28, which is the dead center of father. Okay, right, and then the same thing for your feet. It adds to 56, the I am. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> Okay, and now there there are other terms we get to solve, which are the metacarpals and the metatarsals. But first, let's let's really do justice to the phalanges. I'm already pleased. So, phalanges one and two, phalanges one two three, one two three, one two three. So fourteen phalanges in this hand and this hand. The phalanges equals father plus father. That is huge. That is the that is huge. The fa lan. Jets, can you believe it? Can you believe it, folks? It is just like what we saw in the vertebral column, where every syllable is written in three letters. The, fa, lon, jets. <laughs> okay. So, the, fa equals father, and lon, jets equals father. So, let me ask you a question. Who do you think created the phalanges? <laughs> Father! <laughs> Father God. Hallelujah. Wow. And you've got 14 of them in each hand and on each foot. Now, that's a big solve. Because try living without your fingers or your toes. You will not feel very happy. So, as always, um, so let's, let's do this here. So here's the text written down. So the phalanges equals father, father. And then just slow down. Okay, so the PHA, glaring, there's your heat at the center of father. And then the PH equals the FR in father, the 24 bookends. Okay, and um, the, uh, what else to say? You know, that pH or even numbers, just like the FR, you know, uh, a P differs from an R by two points, and this differs from an F by two points. So that's obvious for father. Um, you can also point out details like the dead center of this provides your plus one offset. The bookends divide by three. You could look at that that way too. Um, and the plus twos exceed plus ones by two in number in that very gorgeously. Um, beautiful. And then now this over here, um, and I wanted to mention that this, oh yeah, the other thing to mention is that you can split this into the all, the all, okay?
Okay, both of those sets of letters. The all, the all. Father's the all. Okay. Um, and then over here, um, the, um, where'd I go? Okay. The A-E in order with father is irresistible. Um, and then, um, yeah, in this case, like the LS parallels the center, but differing by three points. And the NG parallels the bookends, differing by three points. Um, cool. Or you can pick off the all, NS, the rest equals all. I talked about that already. Um, and, uh, huh. amazing. Okay. Uh, another thing you can point